everybody, this is Praxis. Very exciting day today. The contractors are showing up to start doing site work, and I'm going to be joining them out there in just a little bit. I have a small electric chainsaw, and I figure any trees that I can clear and get out of their way is one less thing for them to do, just keeps them moving that much faster. Uh, but even though the homestead is the primary goal at this point, get in there and things will just be a lot more comfortable if all hell breaks loose. I'm not banking on that necessarily happening. Uh, it's always good to have a plan B. And what I have been doing is uh, kind of bulking up on some medical supplies that are good for all certain, all types of medical emergencies, you know, where you have an infectious disease going around and everything. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I have no medical training whatsoever. I have common sense and I have the learning that I've done here on YouTube. I've been uh, bulking up on things like bleach. It's some, uh, something that you can use to disinfect things. If you have to go out and you go into an area that might have, you know, disease pathogens, uh, you know, present in that area, when you return, you want to make sure you thoroughly clean yourself so that you're not carrying that stuff back. It may be carrying, you may be carrying it inside of yourself. That's a whole other, you know, issue. But whatever you can do to minimize the potential for carrying things out of a dangerous area, the better. Obviously, it's good not to go there, but if you find yourself compelled to, it's good to have some options for cleaning yourself up. The bleach that I have here is is old bleach and I've been told by people that bleach has a shelf life. I take that as being true, but this bleach here is over 10 years old. I used it recently and it was very effective. Um I've I've been, you know, some people are under the impression that bleach only lasts a couple of years and then it just turns essentially into like water or salt or something like that. 10 years old, still kicking. Uh, you know, I'll let you know that the way that I've stored this is always in a cool, dark basement. Yeah, you, know, you know, some chemical compounds break down when it's warmer or break down when there's sunlight, you know, ultraviolet rays hitting them. I've always kept this in a cool, dark place. Maybe that's why it's 10 years old and still working. I've also got things like this is a chemical sprayer, uh, which is kind of used for gardening and stuff like that. Well, actually, it says bleach and chemical sprayer. Uh, and I got this in case, you know, somebody comes back and they are covered in something. It might be good to be able to just spray down the surface of their body with something like this. Actually, I remember uh, when I was buying this, I specifically got the bleach and chemical sprayer because bleach is kind of a... Well, it's a harsh chemical, and you don't want it destroying whatever kind of sprayer you get. So I got a bleach and chemical sprayer. I actually got two of these, uh, and, uh, you know, it's always good to have redundancy. Uh, in addition to that, I have had for a while things like clean suits, respirators, eye protection. Uh, we have large rubber boots and large ru rubber gloves. That may seem like overkill, but... I mean, you know what it's like when you've, you know, gone to work and then you find out someone's sick. It's like afterwards you just feel infected and having some of these things that could uh, give you the ability to put some separation between yourself and that environment, I think, you know, is probably a good idea. None of this stuff costs an incredible amount of money, especially things like bleach. No big thing there. Uh, I'm also stocking things like uh, hand sanitizer, all that kind of stuff. And those are going to be useful whether or not I have an awesome homestead or whether I'm stuck in a place like this that's going to slowly fall apart. You know, even though things aren't perfect, you try to do the best you can. And some of these tools here might help me with that. Now, I'm going to head out to the, the site, start doing some cl tree clearing. Uh, I'm kind of excited to meet the contractor that's going to be working with me directly. I haven't met them yet. I met their boss. They seem really nice, and, you know, you always want to have kind of a, a level of personal uh, agreeability with the people that you're going to be working with, so I hope they're an awesome person. <laughs> Is that a cough? Has it already started? <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.